You stink. How are you, friend? I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. You have any night fevers, come back and see me. Thanks a lot. Hey, what's up, guys? Gemini here. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. And welcome to another playthrough of Red Dead Redemption. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. All right, so I'm thinking these are the stagecoaches. Uh, they're like taxis. Uh, I believe for a fee, they'll bring you to wherever you want on the map. But we don't need that right now. We're uh, we're gonna go visit the marshal and start ourselves uh, a new mission. I believe it's called Political Realities in Amarillo. Anyway, I hope there's some shooting, because I haven't been really doing any shooting. Man, John runs funny. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Man, these guys spit anywhere, huh? You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking hard. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Dickhead. Apart from frightening my deputies. I didn't know they used Dickhead back in the day. Capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here 
doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. OK, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. All right. Let's go shoot some bullets. The saloon's this way. Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Now, let's follow him. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Hello. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. Yeehaw! If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. Outlaw is easy money for easy work. Dead. Come on! I've seen tougher nursemaids! Head for the crate, boy! I'll cover you! You're about to go meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy with you! How am I supposed to take him alive? I got no rope. Oh, is that him? 
Oh no, I just shot him. Oh man. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, boy. I should have had to shoot him. <laughs> Not a bad shot, Mr. Marson. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Oh, there. All right. Well, that's the mission. Um, I think I remember you can loot the bodies. And if you loot the bodies... Um, does it give you ammo or money? Alright. Oh, I just lost 100 points of honor. What for? Was it for looting his body? Or maybe because I killed him? Yeah, because the marshal, he wanted him alive and I killed him. So I think that's why I lost uh, 100 points off of the honor. Alright, so there's nothing else around here. I'm just gonna loot the um, loot the rest of the bodies. Let's see what you got. Alright. Man, what's all that shooting going on? Oh, is that a rabbit with antlers? This is an outhouse. I believe there's one more body over here. All right, from here, I'm going to go back to Armadillo and um, I believe there's a place there uh, which I can purchase. So uh, I'm going to go back there and purchase a place. And once you purchase a place, you can go back there and save the game. What's all that shooting going on? It's coming here from the left. Yeah, alright. Jesus. Alright. Oh, these are the bad guys. Who's the bad guy? Oh, jeez. Alright. You're welcome. There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Oh, nice. I'll happily take this off your hands, my friend. Oh, I got a treasure map. Cool. But uh, I'll check that out next time. What have we got here? Um. All right. Let's check fame. All right. It was worth me stopping here. Let's go. All right. So I got ninety-two bucks. I'm not sure how much. Uh, the places for sale, but I'm going to try to buy it if I can. Come on, Come on Brownie! Yeah, I noticed I'm not getting a lot of views with these uh, uploads of uh, Red Dead Redemption. 
but it's okay because uh, I'm kind of taking a break. You know, summer's here. I got family over, so um, I'm just uh, keeping it low for now. But I'll still be uploading every two days, if not every three days. Alright, so let's hitch the horse and go inside here. And uh, from what I remember, you have to go upstairs. Forgive me, sir. It's one of these doors that you go through. Oh, it's not this. oh there it is. It's marked with the X. I'm a very good lover, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm a married man. All right, yeah. So it's fifty bucks. So I'm gonna buy it. So we're off with uh, forty-two bucks. All right, guys. This is uh, I'm gonna cut it here for this playthrough. Take care, guys.